Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here at Ross and we are gonna be doing another shop with me together and let's see what we can find. So don't forget to grab a snack and let's start shopping. Okay, so I tried to film an intro outside but it started pouring rain so I had to run inside really quick. So I'll do the intro when I'm done. But currently at Ross there actually isn't a lot of stuff here from what I see and there aren't a lot of people but we're gonna see what we can find. Okay, so the first random thing that I see that I think is actually pretty cool, they have these uh, training gloves like for boxing and I heard boxing is like, like a really good workout and these are only $15. They have a red pair and a gold pair, <gasps> a pink pair. I love these. I kind of want to get them. <laughs> to do like workouts? Yeah. It's like a really good workout. Mitts and the gloves. Only 15 bucks. I don't know, would you help me? You guys already know me. I'm in the comfy section. Look at these robes. Oh my gosh, they look so comfy and they're so long. I have a robe, but it's like pretty short and like I love stuff like this for like winter. This is only $20, that's crazy. And this is a size large. That looks really, really nice. And I like how it's gray. This one's nice too. Oh wow, $13. I feel like Ross is cheaper than TJ Maxx, surprisingly. This one's nice too. I might get one. Buy on the large. Big. Lovely. This is nice for 20 bucks. It's only $20. It's so cozy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. I wish you guys could feel it. It's just so soft. So I found these for the car. I actually use these and I get them at Walmart and the pack is much smaller and I think I pay literally like five or six dollars. And so this comes in a pack of 12 for five dollars. So I'm gonna get the one for me and one for my mom because she likes them too, so. <laughs> so they have a lot of like pretty cheap furniture here. Like I really like this. I don't really need it. For anything like if my bathroom was bigger i'd probably get it for my bathroom just for extra storage because it's like white but it's only 40 dollars and it's like really really nice quality they also have this desk which i really like it's like wood this is only 170 where like tj maxx usually has stuff like this and it can be a little bit more expensive and they also have a lot of these vanity stools here with like the fur which are like super popular and like this one is only 35 dollars. so like if you have a vanity like your makeup room or whatever I think this would be perfect for a vanity. Okay, the music is really loud in here. I'm like hoping I don't get copyrighted. But they have a lot of candles, lots of decor. A little bit less than TJ Maxx. Like I feel like it's kind of empty here today. But I really like this tray. This is only $13. Like for storing like perfumes and stuff. This is really, really nice. If this was silver, I would probably get it. I like the rose gold, but I have more silver like in my room. So I feel like it wouldn't really match, but I do really like it. See a few little acrylic things. Like these are really nice for makeup brushes. This is only $12. I like how it has like that pink sort of tint to it. Like this would match my beauty room. Oh, it's broken, but this would match. They also have smaller ones here. Um, I like these too. These are really good for like inside the drawers. I actually am thinking about getting two of these because I feel like this just really helps for me to not throw everything in my drawers and actually organize them. And these are only $5 a piece, which I think is pretty good. I might get them. Maybe I could separate more of my lip colors, like high-end liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks. This one's pretty nice too, only $7. It has like a green sort of blue tint to it. I think I'm gonna get these two. I'm gonna get these two. All right, I am checking out the bags. I kind of liked this, but the shape is kind of awkward. Hector said it looks like a jet pack. It's from Aldo, it's only $31. I like the color more so, especially for fall, but I grabbed this bag because I really like the size of it and I love nude colored bags. It's really, really simple. I would take that tie off of it, but um, yeah, it's Aldo. It's only like $32, $33. I just like the size of it because I could put my vlogging camera and stuff in here and I could fit a lot and I have a nude wallet that would match it. But that's no. It's like a pyramid. That's a negative. Ooh. They have some pretty cute bags. I don't know, that bag is like a maybe for me because I really don't need a bag. I wish I could find like a book bag like this one, 
but like a nude color for fall because I really love like the book bag style purses more so than that. So that's a maybe. They have their beauty section here. Quite a few things. Hmm. Oh, Carol's daughter. I love Carol's daughter. Black vanilla hair smoothie. This is only six dollars. Wow. Oh, gold mask peel off. I have so many masks, but like I'm addicted. Like you put it on and like you peel it off your face. All right, so we are gonna get this gold mask because it has like a lot of essential oils. It's like seems to be pretty good for how much is it? Five dollars. They have like vitamins and stuff here. That's so cool. Never seen that before at Ross. And they also have Dr. Brandt here, which is like very expensive. So I'm like really surprised that they have it. It doesn't have a price on it, but this looks like it's like a whitening es essence active complex serum, I guess is what it is. Looks pretty good. Oh, cool. African black soap for deep body and facial cleansing with tea tree oil. This thing's huge. It's only $6. I'm trying to see if like there's any makeup here and I don't see any. So Ross actually used to be at my mall and then like it got closed down for like years, like probably like five years now. So I came to a different Ross and I feel like they don't have a lot of stuff here. Like I thought they were gonna have makeup and I don't see anything. I just see like skincare and hair care products, which, oh look. It's like the one that you got. Oh, yeah. Hector got like a facial brush, like kind of like a Clarisonic dupe. It was only $10 and his is like honestly better than mine. He found it at TJ Maxx because it actually spins. Mine doesn't spin, it just vibrates. The only thing that sucks about these is like trying to find a replacement brush head because like, you know, coming to Ross or TJ Maxx is so hit or miss that that's why I threw my one out from TJ Maxx last year because I couldn't find the brush head to replace it, so. I don't know, this is only $8 though. Okay, there's absolutely no makeup here, so I'm at the clothes section and I see the sweater and I'm in love with it. It's only $13 and this is the brand, the Love Change. So I'm gonna try it on and see what else you can find. I really thought they were gonna have makeup, but this is like, I guess, a smaller Ross because I've heard that they have makeup here. Oh yeah, and if anybody works at Ross, do you guys know why this <laughs> is on the cart? I always wondered that like when I was younger. I don't get why it's there. I'm not seeing too much. Oh, Selena! I love her. May she rest in peace. It's one of my favorite movies. What do you guys think? Yeah, some people are gonna hate it. Some people are gonna like it. I like it. It's for fall. It's pretty cute. It's very fluffy. But see, like it's kind of matted together a little bit. It's really, really soft though. And I like the pockets right here. Okay, I'm in the fitting room. It's literally so loud. Like, do you hear the music? So I'm probably gonna try everything on and just like, maybe I'll do a voiceover for it because it's just way too loud in here. So I'm gonna try everything on right now. I don't have that many things. Okay, so this is the first thing that I just decided to try on again, the fluffy pumpkin jacket, as Hector calls it. I ended up getting this, and I showed you guys at the end of the video, but I really, really love it. It's really cozy. I got this in an extra large. I had a bunch of sizes. The medium actually fit, but I prefer stuff like this to be a little bit bigger, so I just went up a couple sizes. I am obsessed with this green top, and obviously I would probably wear this with like a bandeau or like nipple covers just because you can't wear a regular bra with it, but it was very comfortable. This is just one size, and they also had a black one that I regret not getting because it was only eight dollars and I really like the way that it fits so this with high-waisted anything I think would be super cute and it has a really nice like material on it which I also really loved and then oh this top oh my gosh I love this so much so I ended up tying it just because you can see it's really really big and so I would either tie it or tuck it into my jeans but again this with high-waisted like anything I think would be 
adorable especially for fall this sweater i actually didn't end up getting like it's really really cute in the front and i actually really love this mustard color this was only i showed it earlier i think it was like 14 bucks or something um but i don't like the ties on the side as you can see they just look kind of awkward and strange and i just wasn't a fan of them i've seen some sweaters with ties on the side but these i just wasn't a fan of so i ended up just leaving the sweater and getting this one which i love love the color i like how it fits it is a little bit lower cut but i think with some gold detailed necklaces that would be super cute just to add a little bit something extra but i like it all right guys so we are leaving ross there's like a million people watching me doing this right now but whatever um i got some thumbnail pictures so we're good i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got once i get home and yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit i'm back home i'm so sorry about the glare i had to put my glasses on one because i literally can barely see anything and then my ring light i had to put it on because it's dark outside already unfortunately and it's not even that late and that's one of the things i hate about fall and winter is that it gets dark much earlier than summer but anyways i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got as i told you like a million times throughout the video this ross really didn't have a lot to choose from and i remember going to ross when i was at my mall and it was kind of like TJ Maxx in a way like they just had just so much and now I felt like the selection was just very very limited I really do love Ross though, and I got some really good stuff that I'm excited for and let's see I got the receipt right here. I spent hundred and twenty four dollars and forty four cents so not really that bad just because I did get quite a few things, but Let's get started and I'll show you everything first of all Look at this big bag This thing is huge Love it. I know that this is so random, but I got the punch mitts and these are from the brand Everlast. These were only $10.99. So Hector said that he would wear these while I wear the boxing gloves. And I think this could be a really, really good workout for me, especially for my arms, because I feel like my arms are one of those things that it takes forever for me to lose weight on my arms and my stomach, but my arms are like such a pain. Big arms run in my family, at least from like my mom's side, like we all have big arms. So I'm hoping that this will help me. I'm gonna look up like different workouts with stuff like this on YouTube and I'll see what I can find. But this was only $11, so I thought it was pretty good. And then I also did get the boxing gloves. They're actually called training gloves and these were only $15. They're from the same brand. They're the pink ones. I just thought they were super cute. I don't know why I was so intrigued by this, but I think if I do at least 15 minutes doing this every single day, I think it'll help my arms. I'll keep you guys updated. As I showed you guys, I got these for the car, one for me, one for my mom. I really, really love this brand. I don't think I've ever tried the specific scent. I think the one that I tried was like a like Hawaiian tropical scent, but I think, actually, let's smell it. They have like a thing right here. Mmm, yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells pretty fruity. This one is strawberry and lemonade. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I think these, I mean, they're not super expensive. Like, they don't last. Like, I think on here, what does it say? I think it says that it lasts, like, 90 days. I don't think it definitely does not last 90 days. But for the price, it works. It makes your car smell good for a little bit of time. Then I got these acrylic little organizers. One of them actually has a crack in it, and I didn't notice until I got home. I don't know if I made the crack or if it was already like that and I didn't notice. It's not that bad. I mean, it was only $5, so I don't know if I should just go back. I don't even know if they had another one like this, so I might just keep it. It's really not a big deal, but I thought this was perfect for my, I think, lipsticks, maybe. I don't know if my liquid lipsticks are gonna fit in here just because, let me try a liquid lipstick and see. I don't have a liquid lipstick in here. Let me just see. It does fit like this in here, like skincare. I don't know, I just really, really need to organize more of my makeup drawers. I just recently did a makeup collection and my makeup was organized, but I feel like I still have a lot more stuff and it's just chaotic. I think especially my lip colors. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just overflowing, so I think hopefully these can help me get a little bit more organized. And then I picked up the Spa Scriptions Gold Peel Off Mask. This was only $5. Like I told you guys earlier, this just apparently has like essential oils and stuff in it. Hector says that it's going to be like really good, so I'm going to test it out. I love peel-off masks because I feel like they work so much better versus like just the traditional ones. This kind of smells like glue. Oh my gosh, this literally smells like glue. It's literally gold. It looks really cool, but I don't know about that glue smell. That's a little concerning. I'll keep you guys posted on this. I don't know. 
We'll see. The next things that I got are clothing pieces, which I showed you when I tried them on in the dressing room. I'm so glad that I did not vlog when I was in the dressing room because it was so incredibly loud. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never been to like a store with the music as loud as Ross. But I ended up getting the robe. It was only $20, got a size large. I think when I was just editing some of the footage, I think that this has a stain on it, but I'm just gonna wash it. It's not a huge deal. I just really, really love is this a stain? Yep, it has a little stain right here. I'll just wash it, but I really, really love this rug. This rug, this robe. Do you see how long and cozy it is? Like, I'm obsessed. I'm literally going to wash it right after this video, but I really, really like the pockets in it, and I just love the length. I just love everything about it. I love robes, I love being comfy. This is like perfect, I think, also for like a pamper night, or like if you're watching movies and you just wanna be nice and cozy and you wanna cuddle. I'm obsessed so 20 bucks I love the color too it's like silver and white love it this is what the brand looks like if you are curious I'm obsessed I ended up getting this like fuzzy orange fleece I think it's kind of like one of those things that's like ugly cute like it's kind of ugly but it's kind of cute and I don't know I just think this with like jeans could be really really cute I've seen actually a lot of different brands with stuff like this some of them are really really expensive i just love how it's like so fuzzy and just again really really cozy i got this in a size i think extra large because it's funny too because hector was like get the medium because i tried on the medium and like it was kind of snug but i just prefer things like this to be a little bit bigger on me and i know it's probably not the most flattering on the body obviously because if you get something that's a little bit bigger you're gonna look like you know, a big marshmallow, or in my case, like a big pumpkin. But it's cute, and like, I care more about being like comfy than looking cute, especially if I'm wearing something like this, you know what I mean? I wish it was warm on the inside, but like, I still really, really like it. The material is actually really, really nice on the inside, so. This was also only $20, which I thought was a steal. And the brand is Pink Rose. By the way, my nail info will be down below in the description box for you guys if you're interested. Then I got this top and I wish I would have got the black one as well. Now that I'm like here at home, I tried it on again. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have got the black one. I'm obsessed with this. It's like a one size stretchy, sort of like off the shoulder top. I love it. I like how it fits. And I feel like this with some high-waisted jeans or even like leggings and like an oversized jean jacket could be super cute. This was only $8 and then this is the brand. I just really like that it is so comfy and that it actually stays off the shoulder. So you can see it looks really small but it stretches really nicely and I like like the ribbed material on it. So I have a lot of olive green but I'm literally living for it all year. Olive green for the rest of 2018. And then I also did, let's put on some more menthol lip shine because my lips, they're just kind of dry. Okay, and then I got this other sweater. How cute is this? I really like the detail on the bottom. This is actually not like an oversized sweater. Like I would wear this more kind of dressy with like, I think some booties and some jeans. It would be really, really cute. I really like this deep orange color. I'm like obsessed with orange, gray, black, and olive green for fall, but like it's really, really cute. So you can see this is really affordable. It was only $14 and this is the brand Love Change. And I got this in a size large just because it's kind of like a little bit bigger, but like it's still form fitting. So like I wouldn't wear this with leggings. I would definitely wear this with jeans. This next top, I am obsessed with, I'm getting like Gossip Girl vibes from it. Like Blair Waldorf, I feel like she would wear this and I'm living. So this one is from the brand Midnight Sky. This is a size large. Can we talk about the price though? Let's just take a moment and admire how affordable this was. Only $8.50. So I really, really like the deep color in here or like i'm obsessed with all the colors like the mustard but i really like this like deep burgundy stripe i feel like this shirt with like some dark wash jeans and like some boots and like a dark dark vampy lip would be super cute so i was trying to show you guys earlier like i would wear this tucked in or tied obviously i wouldn't wear this with what i'm wearing right now but i wouldn't wear this shirt like this just because it's way too big and i feel like it's just not very flattering so I would definitely obviously button it and then tuck it in like that with some jeans. Like I feel like that would be so cute. I'm just, I'm just obsessed with it. I just love the way that it looks or even I feel like tying it 
like this too with like jeans it could be really really cute so that is everything that i got i'm going to show you guys my lip drawer and kind of like the vision that i have for these acrylic organizers all right so this is what my lip drawer looks like this is what i want to organize because it's just overflowing i tried to keep this organized and it just didn't really work and i have more lip products in another drawer that i want to throw in the mix so i'm hoping that this will help me to divide everything up a little bit better but if you guys have any other suggestions for how to organize liquid lipsticks lip glosses lipsticks everything let me know all right guys so that completes this shop with me video i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know where i should shop next i'm thinking burlington coat factory i've been getting so many requests for burlington and ulta but if you guys work at Ulta or if you're a manager there, let me know down below if I'm allowed to actually vlog in there because I've heard that you aren't allowed to record or take pictures at Ulta, but let me know. If I were to do a shop with me at Ulta, I don't know, I would be kind of shy to like go up and be like, can I film in here? I feel like it would be so awkward. I don't know. Let me know down below, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for everything. If you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys and I'll see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.